Yo, 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 what is good everybody? Welcome back to your one-stop shop for everything streetwear and sneakers. I had to bring that back, I'm sorry. I know a lot of you guys don't like it, but I have to keep things interesting and keep things changing. So please, if you guys don't mind, forgive me for that one. Regardless, today we have another live cop to do. Um, this week, to be honest, I'm not really looking forward to it. I'm probably just gonna go ahead and throw some money out the window. Um, hopefully it goes well because I do have a piece in mind that I want for myself, so maybe it won't be a complete loss. Um, but regardless, uh, this week is definitely nothing to look forward to. If you guys are going for anything, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys just caught some nice Z's. I would have loved to be one of you guys, but I do have some content to make for you guys. So uh, if you guys don't mind, hit that like button because I will definitely be spending some good amount of cash today. Um, strictly for you guys. So yeah, I would definitely appreciate if you guys go ahead and hit that like button one time. Also, if this is the first time someone on my channel or checking out any of my videos, please support the kid. Hit that subscribe button for me one time. It'll definitely be appreciated. As you guys can see, I've been uploading like every day for the past two, three months. I will definitely appreciate if you guys, you know, scroll down there, join up Ugly Gang, hit that subscribe button, and uh, yeah, just enjoy the content that I put out for you guys. Also, if you guys weren't aware, I do have my own resale platform at Item Secured. It's also a website, itemsecured.com. I definitely appreciate all of you guys who've been supporting me and buying stuff off the site. I cannot tell you guys how much that means to me, but Christmas time is right around the corner. So if you guys want to buy some like last minute gifts for your loved ones or for your close homies, you you can definitely shop with me. You can buy with confidence. I promise you guys will definitely not be disappointed. But let's get into the actual video. Let's get into this bum ass drop list. To be honest, I'm like so like lifeless today. I'm not only tired and hungry, but this drop list is not motivating me at all. To be honest, I really didn't want to make a video today. But um, I do have uh, you know some people to uh, you know make happy and make content for. So uh, yeah, this one is for you guys for sure. I do want to see the solid times this week. The bum ass solid times are probably like non-existent to be honest. But um. Yeah, let's see how it goes. As always, I'm gonna swap over to my setup. I do wanna see what is still sitting on the site as well. EU, just recap the entire EU drop. Maybe at the end of this video, like always, I'll recap some, uh, you know, resell, see how stuff is performing on the market immediately after. But um, uh, to be honest, I'm not really hopeful that anything is going to be reselling. Like I said, I only want one item for myself. That's probably the only thing that I'm going to go for. And I'll probably instantly regret it because I'll probably be able to get it on the aftermarket for a little cheaper. But um, I don't know, let's see how it goes today. As always, I'm gonna swap over. Let's see what's popping off this week. All right, homies, let's get it, let's get it. We're about 20 minutes away from drop time, so we really don't have a lot of time. Uh, not like it really matters because there's not really a lot to discuss. Um, let me pull up the EU site, let's see what's still sitting on the site. I'm pretty sure that the majority of it is still sitting. Let's see, let's start with this work jacket, the dead press work jacket. It actually did sell out in all three colors. That's actually really surprising. I did not expect EU to go for that, but it's all good. Next we have the parka. This parka is sitting, which is also surprising because usually EU fam would go for stuff like this. If they didn't go for it, it's definitely not a good sign for US but uh, that is all good as well. Next, we have the corduroy work shirt that is definitely sitting as expected. The mock shirt is also sitting. Moving on, we have the dead press embroidered sweatshirt. This is the piece that I actually want. I expected it to sit EU because uh, you know EU doesn't really have a demographic for this, but uh, I really, really want that black one. It really fucking sucks that the price tag on it is $250. Like, come on, Supreme, $250 for a sweatshirt? Like, damn, there's not even a pair of shoes. Like, this is a fucking hoodie. Jesus Christ, $250 is steep, man. If it was like 178, 188, I would have definitely pulled the trigger on it. But at 250, man, I'm still indecisive on it. Like 15 minutes before the drop, I still don't know if I'm gonna get it. If I do, I'll probably instantly regret it. I'm not even gonna cap with you guys. Like, uh, shit, man, $250. Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But next, we have this uh, Polotech sweatshirt. This piece we saw added last minute to the drop list. It's a pretty decent piece, if you ask me. Nothing really crazy, nothing really to get you know overly excited about. But um, I can see why some people are feeling it. The branding is there. Um, it's a pretty, you know, decent little piece. Like, it's a half zip Polotech sweatshirt, so it's actually usable. Um, personally, I'm going to pass on it. I don't think that it's going to resell for much. But um, yeah, not a bad piece if you ask me. But next we have the Dead Press sweatpants as well. These are also sitting, not really surprised there. Um, then we have the t-shirts. Both t-shirts are, uh, you know, for the most part are sitting. Again, EU does not have the demographic for these type of pieces, so it's kind of expected for these items to sit. Then we have the hat. Nothing really surprising there. Um, this trooper hat has sold out. That piece is really ugly if you ask me. I really do not like it. Then we have this beanie. Um, to be honest, I don't even remember seeing this beanie. I don't know where the hell it came from. 
it's trash regardless so i'll definitely be passing on that um then we have the gons beanie this beanie is uh you know it's pretty decent i don't like the extra threads on it like i said during my jobless preview but um yeah nothing really crazy there then we have this bandana i am surprised to see that the bandana is sitting because uh, it's probably one of the best pieces to drop this week if not the best piece to drop this week and the price point not being that bad i am surprised to see it sitting but um it is what it is i guess then we have the wassily no chair this chair i believe it did reach up for four thousand dollars like i said and it actually sold out whoever bought that is definitely on some serious crack that shit is definitely not worth four thousand dollars but um if you have the money i guess you can spend it how you want it is what it is but let's move on to the sellout times i do want to see the sellout times we're about 10 minutes away from drop time let's see let's see week 15 the first thing to sell out was the Politic have zip hooded sweatshirt um not to be surprised there but seven seconds god damn that shit went fast and then the no chair that shit went in 7.5 seconds what if this chair has any resale to it i swear i am quitting supreme resale i am hanging up my jersey because i have no business being in this game jesus 7.5 seconds on a four thousand dollar chair what the hell are people thinking man jesus Ah, then the work jacket, the dead press work jacket in green and in black in smalls, not to be surprised there. Um, all the rest of the seller times are pretty, uh, you know, high. They've all sold out in more than two minutes. So, uh, yeah, nothing really crazy there. Um, regardless, I don't know what I'm going for still. I think I'm going to go for that hooded sweatshirt, the dead press one, the uh, embroidered one in black. I'm probably going to instantly regret it. I'm not gonna run any bots if I strike out. I hope I get like a decline on it so I don't have to be really, you know, pressed on it. Next week, we are supposed to be getting BOGOs, so I should be saving my money for that. But um, I don't know, man. I like that hoodie and they say that you should buy what you like and not what other people, you know, are, uh, you know, hyping up. So uh, I might go for it. I have about 10 minutes to decide. I don't know, guys. Pray for the kid, pray for the kid, pray for the kid. Shit, I know that I can get it for cheaper than retail after the drop. Uh, I don't know. I'll check in with you guys a little closer to drop time. I'll make the decision and I'll let you guys know. All right, boys, let's get it. We're about 20 seconds away. I have decided that I am indeed going to pass on that hoodie. Box logos just dropped next week and I'm just not with it to spend $250 on a hoodie. Um, I'll try my best to just, you know, pick it up on the aftermarket, maybe for below retail. But let's see, we're about five seconds away. I am still gonna go for something. I have already stuff stuff in my cart, some accessories that I do want. Um, I have a pair of long johns and a uh, you know undershirts that I want, and I also want the bandana. So let's see if I can pick that up. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Add to cart. Check out now. I should already have the other two items in my cart. So that is that. Boom, 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 and boom. Um, unfortunately, your payment was declined. Sometimes they do say that this changes, so I'm going to leave this open. Um, it happened to me last week. I don't think it's going to happen again, but let's see. Um, the hoodie, where is this beautiful little hoodie here? Nope, it has not sold out. It's available in all colors, man. That $248 price tag fucked it up, man. Fucked it up. It does seem like my cart did not even go through, so let's try this again. Um, let's check out this bandana at the cart. Um... I want this uh, shirt, this undershirt. I don't have any more. Extra large, take my time with this. Boom, 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 boom. Decline, again. Um, all right, boom, it did go through, so that is lit. Uh, man, I cannot believe this hoodie, man. I'm gonna look at this hoodie for a long time. I'm gonna actually look at this immediately after the drop and see if I can pick one up for below retail. 248 Supreme? What the fuck, man? Like, what the actual fuck are you thinking? This piece is hard, but 248 makes it weak as shit. Jesus Christ. All right, whatever. We did get what we wanted, at least a portion of it. I am happy with the bandana and uh, I did need the undershirt, so um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, I would have liked to get the uh, the hoodie, but it is what it is. I'm not going to be too pressed. Next week with box logos dropping, I'm pretty sure that I'll easily forget about this one. I will talk to you guys a little bit about resale, the little bit of resale that there was to this drop. If any, to be honest, this drop was complete shit stains. But um, yeah, let's do that now. 
All right, let's recap these bricks real quick. I shouldn't have to tell you guys that there's definitely no resell to these items, but I'll go over it with you guys anyways. Um, you know what's crazy? I wanted to go in store to pick up that hoodie. I would have been super, super sick because I probably would have walked out with the uh, hoodie if I did go in store, but Supreme has dubbed me for the like the last eight weeks. I'll put a screenshot up of the, uh, you know, the thread with Supreme. Um, I believe it's like what one two three four five six seven weeks in a row where I have not gotten selected So next week being box logo week. I'm not hopeful I'm probably going to have to make some changes to my sign up because shit This is not looking good for the kid, but we're not here to talk about that Let's talk about some resale first and foremost Let's see how this embroidered hooded sweatshirt is doing the black one the one that I wanted um, It's really early right now. It's only about an hour after drop time um, right now the XL that I wanted the lowest ask on it is $400 that dude could eat a whole one because I'm definitely not going to be paying $400 when I can just buy it off the website um, I am going to look on world maybe I can find one for about $200 maybe somewhere around there um, just beat somebody over the head for it but let's see um, I do want to also check the bandana um, where are you here it is I believe it's also still sitting on the site but items like this usually can do a little bit over retail when they're still sitting on the website because of how cheap they are um, this piece right now the lowest ask is $40 So let's say for example, I was to throw it up on grilled I'll probably throw it up for like $45 $50 and I'm pretty sure that somebody will buy it simply because uh, you know With shipping and fees on supreme it'll come out to about the same and I still end up walking away with a little bit of money made But um, that is that I do want to check one very interesting item that nobody was talking about everybody considered it a brick I also considered it a brick um, that being the no wall chair this piece went for four thousand dollars retail the lowest ask there's only one lowest ask on the item right now no sales the lowest ask is 10 racks so whoever that guy is is definitely trying to make uh you know ways with a big payday and uh, i can understand it i just don't think he's going to get that um i think that uh it was very limited because it sold out extremely fast it looks like even us it was a very very limited item but 10 racks that's definitely a large asking price. Um, if it sells, I'm definitely going to keep an eye on it because I'm very interested to see if it'll sell at that price or anywhere you know near that price. I do think that because the item was super limited or what appears to be super limited, there is some money to be made. Um, but when you're talking about an item like this, even making like $500, $600 is a great thing. So uh, yeah, I don't think that he's going to walk away with that much money and he just bumped it up as well or she, whoever that person is, um, to $12,500. So that person is definitely, uh, you know, right now but um it is what it is more power to you i hope that you can actually secure a really nice buyer for that but um yeah that is that if you guys did go for anything please let me know in the comment section below if you like the video please drop a like for your boy i'm sorry that i did not go for what i initially wanted but next week being box logo week i definitely have to get one of those whether it's at retail or resell whatever the case is i definitely want one of those so i have to save some bread um but regardless let me know how you guys did today if you guys even went for anything if you guys slept in i'm pretty sure most of you guys slept in which is uh you know not a bad thing you definitely saved some bread today um but regardless thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you guys until next time peace